What does Armist do is uh, a little bit of a complicated question because it does quite a few different things. And this diagram kind of outlines a bunch of them, but I'll try and get at, first of all, the core of what Armist deals with, and then some of the different aspects and use cases of what it does. So at the heart of it, uh, the word asset comes to mind. Uh, the building blocks of the world that Armist lives in are assets and devices. It's the idea that you can actually put together a complete unified, authoritative live map of all of your assets and be able to actually manage different business processes on top of that. Now, this is uh, somewhat of a holy grail in the world of IT and security and has been for a long time. That idea of putting together a complete asset inventory with context for every single asset and the ability to actually layer in security vulnerabilities, risks, threats are at the heart of what Armist does. So kind of using this map uh, to illustrate, we like to think of Armis very much like any one of the live map apps that you basically use in your world. Uh, Armis takes uh, data and telemetry, raw data in many cases, from many, many different sources. Uh, it can be other systems within the environment. Uh, it can be uh, network traffic and other forms of telemetry. But the point is, it takes all of these raw, uh, many times, uh, quote unquote, dirty data sources that have different forms of information with them, puts them together, correlates them, deduplicates, deconflicts, rationalizes all the information around assets, and then puts it together into an asset map. It starts from the discovery of every single asset. And when we say every single asset, we literally mean no uh, boundaries on that whatsoever, meaning it can be anything from the on-prem network environment and all of the different devices that you have on there. Uh, it refers to uh, endpoints, both in uh, things like laptops, for instance, and things like that, all the way through uh, data centers and virtualization and applications and cloud workloads. Everything and anything within the environment is part of that asset map. So it starts with the discovery. It continues with the notion of context, uh, profiling everything, fingerprinting every attribute and every aspect of it and layering everything together, creating a relationship map of essentially everything that happens between assets and how they interconnect to each other. We like to think of that as the context layer of the map, basically the business context, because it transcends the assets themselves into what they mean to the organization, part of what application are they, who owns them, who's using them, and what role do they play within the organization as a whole. Uh, if we compare this to a live map that you use to navigate, we like to think of this as the layer of the map that adds what are all the businesses that are there, where are all the coffee shops, uh, what basically is the role that a certain building essentially plays within uh, the environment. So following that, the two upper layers are really where Armist adds in its own information. Uh, we add in uh, vulnerability information, uh, different risk elements, compliance, threats and incidents. We layer in all of that on top of an asset context to give you the ability to both view as a whole everything you need to know about an asset, but also be able to query that map and figure out where are my most vulnerable assets? Uh, what are my most prioritized risks based on, based on things like business criticality or other elements? And finally, the ability to actually take action, manage the different asset layers, and the ability to uh, automate and orchestrate different actions within the environment. So in short, Armis is everything about your assets. It's about mapping all of them out. It's about being able to reconcile that with other systems like a CMDB or like other elements in the environment that can take advantage of that. But it's also about building a complete stack of security tools that could take advantage of rich asset context to do other things as well. So long, uh, long way to say that uh, anything and everything about the assets within your organization is something that Armis can put together and allow you to manage effectively. And um, that's really what Armis does.